episode 161. Are you ready to take your eBay business to the next level? Then hold on, because Ron and Ali are going to take you into the fast lane. With the latest tips and insights from some of the biggest and most successful sellers. Here on the So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast. Welcome once again to another episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. I'm Ron LeBeau. And I'm Ali Young. Hey, everyone. We have with us today Troy and Veronica Satterfield. How are you guys doing today? Good. How doing, are you? Doing great, guys. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking me. Oh, um, I, <laughs> I didn't ask <laughs> I guess me that was one. A, but no one ever asked co- me. <laughs> that was a collective. Okay. So how are you doing, Ali? Yeah, I'm doing good. Great to have you, Troy and Veronica. This is awesome. Yep. Yep. Great. So... Troy and Veronica are a couple that had decided a long time ago to chuck the normal lifestyle and own their own time rather than chase fancy things. They work when they want to, how they want to, and where they want. They have two wonderful boys in college, a beautiful home in suburban Denver, and a basement full of inventory, which we're going to talk about, I'm sure. Um, (laughs) Veronica is the frugal mom with loads of style, and Troy is the stubborn number cruncher. This sounds like a a made-for-TV movie here, right? Yes. (laughs) Um, So cool. So where do we start here? How long have you guys been doing this? Um, I started selling on eBay part time about 15 years ago. Tomorrow actually marks my 15 oh, year. Congratulations! Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Oh my God! Hey, you weren't expecting a song, <laughs> were you? Hey, didn't get that on your 14th. So this is, is 15 that what years. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> so have you both been doing it for 15, or, or just you, Veronica? No, I started it originally doing it part time. I was a stay at home mom. um, And so our boys were four and six at the time. Um, My best friend and I love to go to garage sales on Fridays um, looking for kids toys and clothes and that kind of stuff. Um, And then I ran across an ad for one of our community colleges here. They were actually doing a how to sell on eBay class. And so I roped her into doing that with me. Nice. Um, and so after four weeks of that, um, we were totally in heaven and we were gung ho. Yeah, we had decided this was our next yeah endeavor that we were going to do. No, oh, that's really cool. I mean, seriously, you know, when 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 people, it's so funny. And Ali and I, we interviewed a lot of people. We hear different stories, different connections, how people got started. Um, it, it just, it, it's crazy how many variations there are to that. Yep. Yeah, and, and I can attest to that because it was it, it was funny. They, hey, we're gonna do something. We want to do something. You know, they're both very smart, and intelligent women. So staying at home with the kids, they needed that outlet. Um, and then next thing you know, after four weeks of classes. They're on. They've got thrift store routes down. They're yes. they're gone all day on a Saturday, coming home with a minivan full of inventory. So it was it was, it was just amazing to watch how much <laughs> it just really like a flower opening <laughs> to the sun. You know? Troy, you're you're a very intelligent man, Troy. We just we're two minutes into this conversation. I can already <laughs> tell that you're a very intelligent man because any man who recognizes when their wife is making them money to call them very intelligent is a smart thing to do. So right out of the shoot, good job, Troy. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, I haven't stayed married this long without knowing when to when to speak up correctly and when <laughs> yeah, to speak up. That's it. In the quarter, so. Yes. <laughs> I have to say when we first um, would come home with these vans full of inventory. Our husbands would look at us like, oh, my gosh, what are they doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so initially, I think they did think we were a little crazy. Obsessive. And, rockers. and has that thought changed? <laughs> uh, it has, like over the years. Um, so I worked a bunch of different part-time jobs throughout the years while because I was just seeing eBay as a part-time job. Um, so I worked a few different part-time jobs. And in about, I think it was 2012, I responded to an ad on Craigslist. There was a gentleman and his father-in-law who were looking for a photographer lister for their eBay business. And I was like, oh, I know how to do this. So I responded to the ad, got the job. Um, and it turned out he actually was running it as a full-time business. 
um, out of retail office space. He had a huge warehouse. Um, and after working there for a couple of years, Troy's been the numbers guy, um, big brain. Um, and like, <laughs> oh, you are you so cute, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a box of tissue. <laughs> 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 This is like marriage counseling, too. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is our first session where we actually yeah. did a little of that going on. Love right? it. Yeah. Now, carry on, carry on. Don't, don't let us stop you. Um, so in those couple of years working for him, he taught me so much um, just about um, different things to sell and how he was running his business. And Troy, he's come from a financial background. And so he started running the numbers of my part-time business. And he was working a crazy job at the time where he was working, oh, my crazy hours. Um, and he started running the numbers and he was like, I think we could make this a viable full time job. And hmm. so, um, then in 2015, we decided to go all in and we both quit our jobs and yes. now we do full time together. I know? mean, so wait a minute. Wait, 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 slow down here. So you didn't like, you know, Veronica quit your job and see if it worked. And then Troy quit it. You guys just both dove off the dock together. Yeah, but kind of pretty much. So, <clears throat> you know, she's kind of given the background of kind of how she got roped into this. Well, the entire <laughs> time that when she responded to the ad, I said, wait, people do this for a living? It was <laughs> yeah. not something that had even entered in my mind. So I, I come from a from a corporate finance background. I'm, you know, I was trained as a CPA. I'm an accounting. I'm a total eye shade numbers geek. And I said, so the entire time when she was working for somebody else, I was going, I'd never really thought about this. So I would constantly probe her for, for information. Like, do you know how much he's buying his stuff for and how much he's selling it for? I'm trying to figure out how he's making the net. Um, and then at the time, I was having to drive one hour one way. Um, I'm a controller at an oil and a gas company that's, that's far away, not enjoying my life, just not liking it all that much. And I said, let's go back and let me start. Now that we've been doing this part time for a while, let me run the numbers and try to figure out what would it take? How many items do we have to list a week? How many items do we have to sell a week? How much, how much is that going to cost us in inventory to make this a full time job? Um, ran the numbers and I said, you know, this is something we can do. So we talked about it for a couple of months and finally I just pulled the trigger. She says, I think this is something that we should do so that we can have more time. We'll have less money, but we'll have enough to be able to live and enjoy our lives at the same time. So what's almost, it's right. kind of a pre, it's like a pre-retirement. We're not going, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to hate my life for 30 years and then I'm going to retire and I'm too old to enjoy it. We're going to scale back on what the money requirements are, but we're going to have a lot more time. Mm. We can finish watching our boys, you know, for the last few years before they go off into college. And then we're going to own our own time where we don't need stuff. We would actually enjoy it, owning the time that we have. And if we want to take a week off, by God, we take a week off and we just do it. So I went in, went into my own gas job and said, I'm out of here. And I kind of got stuff up and running for a few weeks. And then she went into her job and she quit. And we've been doing this full time ever since. That that sounds like something John Wayne would do. I mean, is, <laughs> I, I still have I still have a fear of having that conversation with my my boss. You know, I mean, I want to have that conversation. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It would take a lot for me to be able to go in there and say, you know what? I'm out of here. Yeah. Well, you know, there, there's a lot to be said for that. I think there's something that, you know, there, there, there is a, a lot of romanticism about running your own business. Oh. And, but the nice thing was because I came from a numbers background, I could sit and run the numbers and say, okay, here's realistically what we can do, how much it's going to cost. What are we going to have to invest in inventory? What are we going to have to invest in time to get stuff listed? So that gave us the confidence to do it, but there are still days it's a little bit like high noon, like, okay, it's a new day. We got to go out and make sure we're making X number of sales a day. And it's not something we always have control over. So, you know, being in business for yourself is a little bit of a roller coaster. You never know what the day is going to bring. And you're going to have those strings where suddenly you wonder, did, is eBay on? Did, did, did we forget to turn eBay on? <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. 
Troy, I got to stop you here, man. Listen, I made a John Wayne reference, and then you said, "Did you did you catch that little the, your little there when you said high noon?" I mean, come on. <laughs> He's a huge John Wayne fan. Yeah, I'm a big John Wayne fan. You're right. So, I, I'm trying to figure out if that was on purpose or not because you know you said, <laughs> here we are at high noon, and you know, <laughs> you know, it's wow, man. Hey, that's how we roll in the shack. Mm. <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, that's that's really cool. That's awesome, man. You got a really cool story here. I mean, this is really awesome. Thanks. Ron and Ali will be right back after this short break. So, you have an idea, a big idea, and you're ready to jump into the world of e-commerce. Awesome. But where to start? The answer is only a click away. At solutionsforecommerce.com, you'll find available services to help manage, audit, or even build your e-commerce site from the ground up. With over 10 years of experience in developing and managing channels on sites like Amazon, eBay, Shopify, and Etsy, Solutions for E-commerce can help you to grow your small or large business. Take a step back from the technical and do what you do best and let Solutions for E-commerce handle the tedious stuff like creating, reviewing, adding, or removing listings setting up or organizing store categories, even merchandising and customer support. Find out why their clients say that their business wouldn't be what it is today without the help from Solutions for E-commerce. Visit solutionsforecommerce.com and take your e-commerce business to the next level. That's solutions, the number four, e-commerce.com. Use promo code eBay at checkout for an exclusive So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast discount. Check out so you want to sell on eBay.com for the latest podcasts and all the information you need to get selling fast. So you get you got that. So you, you run the numbers, you work out that you're going to do it. So what do you do then? Like in high season, you save money. You, you make sure you've got enough to cover the times when you're in like the the lower end. I mean. How do you how do you manage the money that you make? Like you know, putting some aside for the kids, some for holidays, blah 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 blah. Yeah. So, well, the first time I, I mean, the first thing I would tell anybody going full time, the biggest reason we could do that is, even though I was making six figures at the jobs that I had, we lived a lot less than that. So we had a lot of money built up behind the scenes because I was running the numbers, saying it's going to take us money when when you go full time. Hey, you know, if you need to if you need to buy. 150 items a week and it costs $5 an item, you got to have that money every week to be able to keep going and listing full time. So I ran the numbers of what the capital requirements would be. We had that money setting aside, set aside number one. So I would tell people to have one, if not, yeah, one, if not two nest eggs, one, how much can I build up for the business and have invested so that when I need to keep buying inventory, I've got built up a nest egg of, of capital that I can use to buy more inventory. And then at the same time, having a nest egg built up to be able to pay for all your personal expenses, because even though you're buying and listing, things don't sell in two days. We all <laughs> wish they would, but yeah. sometimes it may take two years for that item to sell. So having those nest eggs built up, number one, that has been the biggest thing that's allowed us to do this. We built up a big nest egg and said, we can live on this if – if we sell nothing, we can live on this money while we're getting the business up and going. Wow. I mean, I've actually been good as well because I actually have had a part time. The, the company, one of the one of the companies that I had um, quit from actually hired me back as a consultant. So I go in about one day, you know, a week, sometimes a little bit more. And it's nice to be able to kind of have a little bit more income coming in, um, especially during those summer months when exactly. the retail world is a little bit slower. Yep. Yeah. So the, the next step that we're doing in this next year is, as I know that job is going to probably end here soon, I'm starting to build up another savings account that says, okay, while we're killing it in Q4 and in Q1, we're rat holding money away so that we can keep our personal lives as well as our business running so that in Q2 and Q3, when the summer hits and it's slow, we can just feed off of that capital and keep things going. And that way we're not going, we're not getting desperate yep. capital during those times. Wow. I mean, it's, it's, you know, the difference between uh, that, that accounting background and the number background there, it just, 
it, it makes you do this business in a completely different way. And again, we, you know, we interview so many people who run their businesses so differently and stuff. But this is, uh, right. you know, this is quite a smart way. You've really done the numbers. You've worked out. You know what? We can do this if we if we do ding, 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 ding. Amazing. Yeah. He's, you know, yeah. He's taken it to when Troy came on board, he took it like my part time hobby and what I love to do to a whole different level. Mm. Is a viable full time business, and it's wow, amazing. man! Who would have thought? I mean, did you guys? How long? How long did you guys think before you, you know, when you started your eBay business, that one day you'd be able to walk away from your your jobs? I don't think I ever thought that. It right. was just, yeah, I never would have thought that. I just loved going and um, finding deals, and I grew up. My mother loved to go to garage sales and antique stores, and. So I was brought up in that environment. Um, and so, yeah, I just did it because it was fun to do. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it, it, it's funny because I, I don't think <clears throat> I don't think I ever initially thought that would happen. It, it's ironic that, you know, while while being a, in, in a corporate accounting job for, you know, 20 plus years, I still remember that the very first suit that I needed and that I purchased while I was in college to get that job. I bought at Goodwill for six bucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh I, I spent goodness. six dollars on a suit to get a you know a mm. full time corporate accounting job, and now twenty years later, I'm selling that six dollars yes. suit. Yes, go for it. You for got sixty dollars or more. <laughs> Funny how it works. Look at you, man. That that's awesome, man. Uh, what a story. That that's pretty cool. That man. is cool. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if I sell that though i'm, I'm looking at i'm looking <laughs> yeah, i'm looking at your store here you've got some really high quality pictures here so you, you're obviously spending a bit of time taking pictures yeah yeah well, um we have a photographer that we hired this past year um about six months ago actually mm -hmm. um he's our first employee that we've hired um and he does all the photography for our um, clothing and shoes and he's worked out amazing he actually has his own studio at his house um so we do a couple drop-offs and pickups a week with him mm -hmm. um and then i still go ahead and photograph all the hard goods that we do so you saying all those nice things about him because you know he'll listen to this episode, or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. listen to this episode? No, no, he's yeah. been he's been great, and it's you know the biggest you know I think the biggest thing that I brought to the to the business, like I said, I mean she 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 opened my eyes. She was the one who kicked me out of the nest and said we can we can do things for ourselves. And I said, well, I can bring the how to do things for ourselves to the business. So one of the best things that we did in hiring him was. He has a studio at his location, so I don't have to provide. He doesn't have to be in our house. I don't need an outside location for him to work. All I have to do is drop things off to him. We pay him per item. He is a, he's got his own amazing studio. As you can see, he does great, great, great photographs. Yeah, he does. I can drop stuff off to him and then pick him back up. He can work on his own time if he wants to work at midnight, if he wants to work at noon. It doesn't matter. Because it doesn't impact us. I'm a kind of a process type of person. So it's 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 the best deal that we could have ever had by saying, here's all the stuff. I'll pay you per item. You take amazing photographs, give them back to me, and we're we just kind of keep the business going. So Yeah, seriously, your your pictures are like I mean, something you'd see out of, you know, a professional retail store. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's awesome and yeah, amazing. He's great. So so yep, then what's, what's, what's the sort of average day then? So you, you're sending your images to him, but are you like down goodwill once a week, twice a week, and then you sort of combine and conquer where some of you list and some of you, you know, ship? How does it work for the both of you? Both of us, we usually um, ship, we ship every day, um, and we usually do it together. Um, so we are able to knock it out really fast, um, within an hour probably. Um and then, so Monday through Thursday are our big listing days. So we get stuff ready for our photographer. Um, and then we mix in some hard goods along with that, um, do our product prep, list photo, do all that Monday th through Thursday. Um, Friday in the mornings, while the weather is still nice here in Denver, right. we try to hit a bunch of garage sales um, in the mornings. And then Saturdays are our big thrift store route days. Okay. Um, yeah, and then um, and we'll hit some thrift stores, and then estate sales. Usually, that's their half day off. Right. 
Um, so we'll hit some of those as well to see if there's any, you know, treasures left that we can find. Um, and then Sunday we have allocated as a completely day off. So we can watch football. We can, I can cook, get meals ready for the week, right. yeah, spend time with friends and spend time with our um, son who still lives here. And yeah, yeah. We, we had noticed when we first started, you know, a you know, a few years ago that we would take things kind of cradle to the grave one at a time where, you know, you take an item, you list it, you photograph it, you, you put it out there, you start all over on that item. And it seemed to be kind of inefficient. So we started kind of chunking things where we'll take days, like kind of half days and we'll say, okay, this half of the day, all we're going to do is do listing. Then this other, you know, this other part of the half day, we'll do nothing but photographing if it's on hard goods for Veronica. Mm. Um, then Fridays, all we do is shop. Saturdays, all we do is shop. Sundays, is, it, it, it's an off day. I usually catch up on all the accounting and that type of stuff on that day. Um, but by chunking things into big groupings like that, instead of just taking an item and taking it all the way through and listing it, saying, okay, I'm going to do all my photographs at this time. Then I'm going to do all my listings at this time. What that does is it makes you so much more efficient because part of this is is volume related. Again, you know, my corporate finance, you know, efficiency type background. Mm. When we started moving over to a chunking program, we were we could get more things done per week and we were better at them because if I would like even in my chunking, we'll do a lot of clothes and I'll say, look, I'm going to do nothing but dress shirts for two hours. Because I'm in the same mode. I'm thinking about what type of collar it is. Is it non-iron? Is it slim fit? You know, I would sit there and say, I'm in, I'm in dress shirt mode. Then right. I go and do suits. That's a whole different mode. But I'll just do all of the suits all together because I'm in that same mindset. So by chunking things together, we're a lot more efficient. The, the quality is a lot better. And we crank out a lot more volume in, in, in the same amount of time. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, wow. yeah, I know it's just like blown me away. <laughs> I find it hard like, enough to send an email. Um, so, <laughs> so like yeah. you're having time off as well. So, what do you do when you go out like, on holiday with the family and stuff? You just put it on holiday mode and. Um. Yeah, we um our one of our oldest son. He is going to college in Nebraska, and he plays baseball. So in the spring, we love to go take a weekend, go watch him play some baseball. Our youngest son, he still lives here in Denver. So he'll come over, we'll barbecue, watch football together, play some board games. Right. And yeah, Jeez. we still hang out with our friends. And Yeah. And for me, I've, I've, I've picked up the new hobby of uh, doing a lot of hiking and not just where you're out for a day, but where you're out for multiple days. So Part, part of our future goal is I'm trying to hire myself out of a job um, because I plan on taking about four to five weeks next summer and hike the Colorado Trail, which will take me between 28 and 35 days. So part of my process thinking is to say, OK, I've hired myself out of photography. Now can I hire myself out of listing so that I can build up enough backlog inventory yeah. where I can be gone for four to five weeks. Do you know where this is going? Do, do, he's basically trying to get out of doing the work. Are you noticing this? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got a photographer sorted. I've just got to get someone to sort this bit out. Yeah. Well, you know, he started this whole conversation, uh, Ali, with saying how smart and intelligent Veronica was, yeah. right? So, yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm, I'm back I'm, in five weeks. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. What a cool story, man. This is really uh it's it's awesome. Thank you. So what's the future? So, what's the what's yeah, the future just, goals then? I mean, what's what's your plan in here? So you're gonna keep growing this, you're gonna keep expanding? Um, yeah, I think that's that's kind of the goal for next year. So like I said, I've I've hired myself out of photography. Now I want to I want to hire another lister for us um, so that basically what we're doing, you know, there's kind of three, you know, really more of like four big types to this business. There's photography, there's listing, um, there's sourcing and there's shipping. Um, right. Three of those are really easy to hire out. And those are the ones I want to take care of for Veronica when I when I kind of leave for, you know, four or five weeks, yeah. which is the photography, the listing and the shipping. The one thing that we haven't, you know, that's the hardest thing to outsource is the listing. So I want to kind of get it between now and the next uh, and this next summer, where basically the majority of our job is just being able to source items that we can make money at, keep two other people fully, fully employed, getting those things up 
listed, photographed, and shipped out. So that frees up our time once we get that part of the business going that now, okay, all I've got to do is source. Hopefully I can start doing the sourcing in a couple of days a week so that we can start going on to other business ventures such as, you know, like we've talked about owning some other businesses, maybe getting some rental properties going. And if we can get a cash engine generated where we source for two to three days a week, we keep those people employed, getting those items listed on eBay we take that cash and then invest it into the next level of business you know, that we want to take going forward. So, God, I mean, somewhat just... empire building. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we don't really. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, yeah. doesn't sound like it at all. <laughs> it's gonna build an empire and then I'll climb it. Yeah. yeah. Then, then I'll get my own planet and I'll, uh, I'll do that thing. So uh, yeah, it's just you two are brilliant. I mean, it really is amazing. How do you? Um, this is a common question we get asked actually. Is how do you keep track of all your inventory and stuff, and and where it's located, and how much you've got left, and yada yada yada. Uh, we have a great. Um, we have a third party listing software called Sixbit. Um, that's great with our inventory management. Um, and then we also have a SKU system. Um, and one other. Thing that we did this year was we went ahead and are paying for warehouse space. So all of our hard goods are, um, at, so after they get listed um, with the SKU number, they get boxed up after they're listed and taken over to the warehouse. So they have a um, shelf location um, and with the SKU number as well. So when things so we look at that SKU number, see where it's at at the warehouse, and that's where we know where to go get it. And then, of course, in our basement, that's where all of our clothing <laughs> and shoes are. But wow. we have um, the same SKU system, and we have file cabinets that we keep all of the clothing in. Yeah, well, one, one of the things that I brought from my old job was inventory management, and I'm, I'm kind of the inventory Nazi of, 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 our, of our stuff. So I found out that like when we do a lot of clothing, like shirts and pants and those types of things, you can store them very efficiently in legal size file drawers. So we have a basement full of legal size file drawers. Each drawer has its own number, so when an item gets listed on eBay, it has its own unique skew and then a dash and then what drawer that it's in. So we can, when something sells, we can go down into the basement and if it's a, a piece of clothing that's either going to go in a padded flat rate envelope or just going to go in a, in a tough mailer, we can grab that item and ship it out in about 60 seconds. Um, Veronica has really expanded into shoes this year. So we've been, we've been <laughs> buying we've been buying. We've been buying shoe racks like they're going oh, out of style. A basement full of inventory is actually just the clothing. So we can go down. She's numbered all of the shoe racks. So she goes, and oh, this is in shoe rack five. <laughs> go, <laughs> my buy goodness, it. man. Get it, out, get it out the door. The the one amazing thing was we needed that space here because you get a lot of questions on clothing for measurements of the shoes or remeasuring a certain part of, of, of the shirt or what have you. So we so far are keeping the clothes here. All of the hard goods, we move to an outside storage location. And what Veronica will do is she'll actually pre-package that item up. It's in a box. It's already bubble wrapped. It's ready to go. She puts the weight and the dimensions into 6-bit and into the eBay listing. Yeah. So when the item sells, we print the label out here at the house. We go over to the warehouse. We slap the label on it. We drop it off on the post office on the way home. Yeah, We're done. It works out perfectly. <laughs> You make it sound so easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, it's not. It, it sounds a lot easier than it is. Yeah, it does no, sound. No, like no, it. no. Hey, yeah. hey, Veronica, Veronica, we got people listening that don't that haven't started the eBay business yet. We're trying to convince them that this is a get rich quick scheme. So don't go say anything. About <laughs> yeah. I'll tell yeah. you. I think that's and that's the best thing because you know what? Where we're at now, and I, I, I think I'm. We're very efficient. We're very good at this because, you know, we're doing it full time. So it's kind of like, you know, you know, we, we burn the ships. We are living here now, <laughs> but we did. But it took us a while to get here. So when we first started, I used to just have boxes of shirts. And she's like, you got to find your shirt and it's going to take you 20 minutes to do so. Mm. So after going through that pain a few times, you know, I am kind of stupid. So I only bumped my head into the wall 100 times before I changed the process. <laughs> yeah. But then I said, OK, maybe I need to start putting like some drawer numbers on these shirts so I can find them a little bit quicker mm. so you know i'll tell anybody starting you know start with what you can do today and yep. then when you run into it when you run into something that's an annoyance fix it 
Yeah. But fix it before it becomes a huge problem and you've got, you know, 8,000 items in inventory and you don't know how to find it. Once you find an annoyance, fix the annoyance and then it's fixed forever. It's one of those things that say if you fix a small problem today, it's saving you hundreds of hours in the future because you're never going to have that problem mm, again. Love it. I mean, I would encourage you to Google eat the frog if you don't know that. Absolutely. That, absolutely. That analogy. It's fine. Yeah, we eat them all the time out here. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's a delicacy. <laughs> well, sadly, we run out of time here, Troy and Ver- uh, Veronica. And I just, I, again, you know, we got another couple of tag team champions here who are just, you've just gone wild on it. You're enjoying it. You're having fun with it. You've made it into a job. Your family enjoying it. I just, yeah, I, I just, this brings more hope and hope and hope that anybody can do this online these days, you know, with a lot of work like you've done and, you know, learn all the mistakes along the way. So seriously, thank you both for coming on here. It's been fantastic. Yeah, thank you so Not much a problem. for Thanks having for us. us. And I'll tell anybody, you know, we live in an entrepreneurial internet age. If you want to make money, it's out there to make. And you don't have to you don't have to have everything perfect. Start today, start making that money. You you love the you love the sound of the cha ching that know that you went out, <laughs> that you killed it, you brought it home, and you're getting paid for it. So yeah. start with that. All the other stuff comes later. Love it. What no, a great bit of advice. The guy who made that ka-ching has a lot, got a lot of ka-chings coming in, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my ka-ching. I invented that. So we'll, yeah, post all the, yeah, we'll post all the notes from today's interview on our show notes page, which can be found at www.soyouwantosellonebay.com forward slash show notes. But Troy and Veronica, before you leave us, how can people get in contact with you? Um, we've got, we, you can contact us on our Facebook or our Instagram page, which is just Vero's vault. Or if anybody's got any questions, I don't mind throwing it out there. You can hit me up directly on my email, which is T Satter F at yahoo.com. Brilliant. Okay. Well, we'll put all of those on the show notes page. So go over there, check them out. Thanks everyone for joining us today. We've had so much fun. Once again, thanks Troy and Veronica. You two are awesome. From everyone here at Say You Want to Sell on eBay, I'm Ali Young. And I'm Ron LeBeau. That's all for this episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. Be sure to check out our next episode or any past episodes by going online to so you want to sell on eBay.com. Also, be sure to follow us on your favorite social media sites, Facebook.com forward slash So You Want to Sell on eBay and Twitter at Your eBay Podcast. Thanks for listening. And until next time, happy selling. Have an idea for a topic or know someone who would like to be on the show? Let us know. Just go to www.soyouwantosellonebay.com forward slash interview. We look forward to hearing from you. This podcast was produced in part by Pro Voice Works.